Kerwin for speaking on CommuniShift. Next up, we have Troy Dawson for uh, Plasma, Fedora Plasma on mobile. Workshop. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. My name is Perry. I'm the session chair. I'm here to introduce uh, Troy Dawson. He's here to talk with you about uh, Fedora Plasma Mobile, not just for phones. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to switch between the two microphones, mainly because I like walking. Um, I have here a phone. It's running Fedora, not Fedora Plasma Mobile. It's running Plasma Mobile. It's running um, post-market post OS. And that's really nice and all that, but that's not Fedora. So we're not going to talk about this in this thing. So I have another laptop here. It's, well, it's doing my slides, but guess what I can do with this? There goes the keyboard. We now have a tablet. Well, I'm, I'm really curious. Oh, it's not doing it. Huh. Maybe when I'm in slide mode, it, it prevents. It's in presentation mode. It won't let me flip. Usually it does, but I've never tried that. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to do this on my tablet, do an all touch, except for the mouse. Oh, we'll try all touch because, yeah, it shows up on the screen. But that, that's sort of distracting, so I may or may not use the mouse or not. Anyway, so why am I worrying about not doing this phone and doing my tablet? Well, because I like Fedora. I don't want to run post-market OS. And the, we've, we've been trying to put things on phones. There was the, the mob, mobile SIG for quite a while. It just didn't pan out. It's just not an uh, easy experience post-market OS. And, and I hope I'm not saying that wrong the entire time, but that's what I'm going to call it. Um, they have a, a decent experience putting it on the phone, but it's not f for Fedora. You have to do all sorts of different things. So uh, the KDE Plasma Mobile Group, we were like, hey, we're tired of waiting for phones. Let's put it on other things. We, this is our criteria. They've got to have a touch screen, like my tablet. No keyboard. Well. You can have a keyboard, but we're, we're gearing towards things without keyboards, and mobile of some sort. So most people's desktops are not going to be mobile, and definitely not a server. So let's go to the next. Go to the next slide. OK. So why Plasma Mobile? Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Troy Dawson. I'm a member of the KDE SIG. And KDE Plasma Mobile Desktop is my favorite. Um, I run, usually I run RHEL or RHEL derivative, uh, and I, I do the KDE Apple stuff. But for mobile stuff, Fedora is a much better fit. Um, so I like the feel of KDE. Uh, the, the Fedora KDE, as well as the KDE community in general, I really enjoyed that community. And at this point, it's working, and it's working fairly well. I'm not going to say there isn't bugs. We do actually have one of my slides is things that aren't working. Um, it's easy and intuitive. I'm going to have show a demo at the end. I'm also going to walk over here. Um, I'm going to show you my the terminal keys, what I mean by that, because when I found this out, I was like, oh my goodness, this is exactly what I wanted. I had problems with Chromebooks and all sorts of things. Um, and there's been a very fast bug turnaround. Uh, a lot of times, I just get on my Matrix channel and ask things, and either A, people says, oh, you need to just do this thing, or, or, or literally by the time I'm going to file a bug, the bug is already fixed, um, because I'm not the only one finding them. This is a much better mic, so I'm probably going to be using this. But I also can't use that mic and touch this at the same time. Maybe I can. Oh, come on. Why? We'll just use the mouse. The mic is detachable. We're going to detach it. There we go. 
Oh, wow, you guys can hear me so much better. There we go. Okay, so easy and intuitive. We're going to go over all these on the, on the demo, but I want them on the slides so that when people look at them later, do this. Uh, this is what you see when you do a swipe down. Now, this is a swipe down on a tablet, this particular thing. Uh, this, for people who are wondering, this is a Microsoft Surface Pro uh, version 6. I think they're up to 10, maybe 9 now. Um, it works very well. I also have uh, uh, Yoga, Lenovo Yoga. It works, uh, the hardware it's, works okay. Anyway, when you swipe it down, we got this really nice little thing that you would expect from, from the, I'm going to move my mouse around. Hey, mouse, there you are. Instead of pointing at the screen because other people can't see it, that's very intuitive to anybody that's at least run an Android. I am not a, a Mac, uh, iPhone user, so I assume maybe iPhones. And then we have notifications. If you were on a regular phone, this notifications would be down there. It adjusts according to the size of the thing. Um, running apps. It's, sorry, that little thing is driving me nuts. Why is this six here? Whatever. Uh, running apps, if we push the left button, on the demo, we'll see, oh, it finally, stop going there. We have three buttons on the bottom. If you push the left button, uh, you see the, the running apps. Again, if you're an Android user, this is very intuitive. Uh, you can close things, you can swipe them up, change the things. Uh, middle button, your, your list of all the apps you've got. Uh, it does show all of the applications you have and some of them are not really mobile friendly. So uh, this particular one, I'm using this both as a desktop and another. So I have some non-mobile friendly on it. But there's that. Um, the third button is usually an X. Uh, to add desktop icons, it's really hard to put this on a slide. You do the, <laughs> so we'll show it in the demo, but I'll tell you what you do. You just you do the last one, you push the app you want, you hold it for a second, it goes to this screen, you let go of it, just like you would expect. Um, terminal keys, now I'm gonna show this in the demo, but this is the KDE terminal for, for Plasma Mobile. Um, and you look here, you got Control, Alt, Escape, Tab, Up, Down, Over. Every other touch thing I've been trying uh, I've always wondered, how in the world can I go over? I don't have a thing. I, I saw this, and I was just, like, in love with it. Um, so there is some things that need work, and we'll, like I said, we're going to do a demo in a little bit. Uh, there currently is no video player, Plasma Mobile video player. You know, KDE's got a couple, and they work okay in, in there. So, go, well, Dragon works. It will work. Um, Alisa, it will work, but they're not mobile, you know, touch friendly that, that could, if you got really good precision fingers, you can, you can get them to work. So there is that, uh, Fedora is still working on getting the file browser. Uh, there's been some bugs and issues with that. Um, and there's random bugs and random maps. Um, it's, it's still fairly new. It's not as mature as, as the KDE Plasma desktop. So there is random bugs and random apps. apps. Um, and like I said before, a lot of them have been fixed uh, or fixed by the time I go to file a bug. Like I, I, the Wi-Fi thing had a weird bug and then it got fixed. But I was like, okay, where do I file the bug? Oh, it's already fixed. Um, so let's go, let's move on to the demo. We're, we're there already. So let's make sure we can get out of here. Come here. Oh, you, don't you be doing this to me? Of course, of course we're doing it. Come on. I was, I was literally touching this in my seat over there and it wouldn't let me, and now that, maybe it's because I got the mouse thing. So let's exit the slideshow. Uh, first thing let's demonstrate is, okay, I'm going 
I'm going to unplug the mouse, so this is an all live demo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I wanted that right in my lap. Okay. <laughs> this is a fun lecture, and it has no... Yeah, there we go. So that's what happens when it turns... Okay. Um, we're going to push the side button, the X. What does that do when I push the side button? Actually, no. Let's... Hey, this is cool. I can do it that way. Let's, let's list our apps. Come on, middle button. Okay, we're closing. Oh, come on. Why are you being this way? You shouldn't even be able to do that. Okay, Chrome, you are. Oh, my goodness. Stop it, Chrome. Chrome! Goodness. Hey, uh, those of you who know me know how well my demos go. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Oh, come on, just, you know when you're doing it all at, oh my goodness, this is, I've never done the demo from starting from Chrome. Let me, let me put you that way. So we're, we're going to say Chrome is not mobile friendly. No, but we don't need a new tab. We want to... Actually, let's get a new tab because maybe it's the... Nope, we're still... One thing I, I will show is there's the little keyboard button down there. Oh, oh my goodness. Chrome, stop it. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness, I don't want to have to... You stupid thing. Okay, we are going to revert to this. As I said, there is still bugs, and there is still things that do not... You are... Chrome, you are going to go away. Go away, Chrome. Go away, Chrome. Go away. There we go. What did you do to my touchscreen, man? <laughs> anyway, I, all the people from Fermilab are probably laughing right now. When, when, I, when I worked at Fermilab, every demo I did, the only time the demo worked was when I was showing demos that were failing, that were supposed to fail. Come on. You're not even... Oh, shisters, man. It, it really worked just fine all the time up until now. Anyway, Plasma Mobile works really good. Don't use Chrome on it. <laughs> Let me do questions and answers while I, I do. I got 10 minutes? Okay. Hey, let's at least log out. Try that. Something, I, I don't think I need to restart, I, but I think every time, okay, oh, where, oh, that, oh, wait a sec, oh, it's the, I've also never done the gem, demo with the projector plugged in. Uh, it's supposed to be mirrored, and now we're not. So let's let's log in with the keyboard on because I can't actually touch the other part of the screen. Okay, do we have questions while I'm while I'm uh, resetting things? Is this a, is this Wayland first or? Yes, uh, we uh, for the mobile. Um, I'm not even sure Ups Plasma Mobile has X at all. Oh, I got it upside down. No wonder it's not connecting. Yes, I am actually fairly certain about that. The, the, the Plasma Mobile people are not doing X. They, they had the choice, and they're like, we just want to do our efforts on Wayland. So, yeah, if you do have the NVIDIA, but... Um, 
Let's see what we're doing. Okay. No, we're just going to type. Uh, okay. Now you better work. Oh, we're still doing the... Yeah, I, I have had problems uh, doing the double screen because it's like... Yeah, it's not... Let's let's see if I can even touch anything. Yeah, I get problems because because it's like thinking, oh, that's part of my screen. I, you guys want me to unplug it and do it that? You know what? Oh, these goofy things. Yeah, it's the it's the the monitor thing. Isn't that cute? Sorry, I like it. Uh, okay, any other questions? Oh, I didn't a repeat the question. The question was, is this Wayland only? The answer is yes. Yeah, the, the input method is basically your standard t touch screen. That part is not fancy. It's, okay. But it's using like input method, like the Wayland input method, D1, D2 protocols? Like sure, if I knew enough about the Wayland oh, input. Yeah. In, oh, the repeat the question was, is it using the Wayland input method protocol 1, 2? I don't know enough about Wayland to, to answer that, but I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to try this one last time, and I might, uh, you know what, I'm going, it's going to remember, it's a good thing and bad thing about KDE, is it, if you unplug a monitor and then plug it back in, it remembers, but uh, let's, let's, let's try that. I don't care about security updates. No, go away. Oh, now it's working, yeah. Now it's working great. <laughs> so yeah, it's the monitor. It stopped fetching updates. I don't want... Okay. No, it's not working. It's not working great. I've messed it up. It's, it's the curse of the demo. I have five minutes. Sorry, I don't... You don't supposed to say that in... in talks that are being recorded, but just so you guys know, we'll be done in five minutes. We're going to do the, the good old restart without this and start all over with, with the demo. Um, more questions and answers. Uh, let, me, let me answer your question. Do you guys have any more? Because I've actually been asked several questions about this, and if not, I will give some questions that I have been given. Okay. Okay. Um, it, I could put Linux on it just fine, but several things didn't work, but the, uh, the touch screen. There is a project out there that does kernels for the surface, and they're trying to work them all upstream uh, but they even have a Fedora kernel so that once you install their th their repo, uh, it just automatically updates along with all the others. So yes, so on the surface, the Linux kernel, uh, it works, but not enough for this. For my Plasma, for my Lenovo Yoga, um, I, uh, things have been working. I've only had it like three months and they've already fixed the the keyboard, yogas are the ones that you turn them all the way around and the keyboard's supposed to turn off. When I first got it, the keyboard wouldn't turn off and I had to write a script. And then one day I, I folded it over and the keyboard went away and I couldn't even type my script. And I was like, wait a sec, it works. Um, so things are, things are progressing in that things. Sorry. I want this to work at least just once. <laughs> oh no, no, it's it's my it's it's nothing your technical things. It's 
It's my technical things. Um, okay, we're going to plug it in. It should mirror it. Let's see if it remembers. Wait, it's not even... And it instantly says no, we're not... That part's working. Okay, there's my, there's my thing. This was actually part of the demo I wanted to show. So, so you can do ls whatever. Hey, great. Oh, wait. Oh. So when you put the other thing in, it's doing the text screen at the different resolution, and so we will do the simple things. How about up arrow? Wait, no. There's okay. Up arrow is working. I just wanted, does the up arrow work? Fedora, KD, Plasma, Mobile. Okay, at least one part of my demo is working. <laughs> How's that? But yeah, I believe what is happening, because it's letting me touch, but it's not touching the right place because it says the screen just grew. Um, but that's usually not what you do tablets for anyway. But if you are, be warned, and I, I will file that as a bug. We'll see if it gets fixed before I manage to file the bug about having an external screen and the, the thing working. Well, it looks like my time is up. Thank you guys for coming. Oh, oh one, one more quick question. OK, I think I already answered the question that I get asked the most. When will Fedora Plasma Mobile be available on my phone? And the answer is, I don't know. I don't think it might ever, the way phones are being made. But for now, we're doing x86, 64s. We're going to do ARMs. Um, and we're gearing them towards more of the laptop market. Uh, there's a whole bunch of new ARMs coming out that are touchscreen and all that. and um, we do have some people in the KDE SIG working on that. Um, the spin should be out with Fedora 41. And with that, I'd like to thank you all for coming and thank you all for watching. And bye.